engines. There's a bit of a coal shortage at the moment, but don't worry, there will be enough coal for everyone once Edward arrives with some more coal from the mainland. Until then, you'll have to share whatever coal you have spare here. So Funling, how much coal do we have here? Let me check. Oh, only one block. One block? That's barely enough for one engine. Don't worry, once Edward arrives, we'll have plenty of coal. But the engines waited and waited, and Edward didn't arrive. Oh no, where could he be? He's probably run off and kept all of the coal for himself. But we need coal too. I'm sure Edward isn't far away. Funling, do you think you could find him? Of course. Splatter, Dodge, have you seen any steam engines today? No, I don't think I have. Maybe they're all on vacation. I doubt it. Diesel, have you seen Edward? There's a coal shortage and he's bringing some in from the mainland, but he hasn't arrived. Coal shortage? You know what this means. No barbecue tonight? No, it means that no steam engines can do their jobs. Us diesels will have to do them and show Sir Topham Hat that Sodor doesn't need any steamies. Uh oh. Thanks for the tip, Fun Ling. Oh no, I have to warn the steam engines. Come on, Edward, where are you? Guys, the diesels know about the coal shortage and they're doing your jobs to prove to Sir Topham Hat that Sodor doesn't need steam engines. What? Oh no! Outrageous! No one but me can pull the express. And I always deliver the mail. And I'm pulling chocolate syrup trucks today. It's my dream job. Well, no one chants trucks like me. And I'm supposed to be spending the day with King Funling. Oh, hello, Steamies. Us diesels are doing your jobs today. I'm pulling Gordon's express. Dodge is shunting Nia's trucks. Diesel 10 is pulling James's chocolate trucks. Yes, I'm definitely not just drinking the chocolate syrup. <laughs> Paxton is spending the day with King Fanling. Are you Thomas? Uh, yeah. Toot toot. Mm, yes, that is something he would say. And Splatter is delivering Percy's mail. Where's 123 Fake Street? You know what, I'll find it. As soon as Edward arrives, we're taking our jobs back. OK, Thomas, when he arrives. <laughs> That's it. I'm taking the one block of coal we've got and I'm getting my chocolate trucks back. No, if anyone's taking that coal, it should be me to pull the express. But King Funding's expecting me. That's a royal order. I need the coal. What if the trucks and the diesels team up against us? The engines could not decide who deserved the coal, until Percy had had enough. Percy, what are you doing? He's taking the coal to save his mail trucks! And off he went. Great! Now we're all stuck here! But Percy didn't take the coal to save his mail trucks. There you are! Oh, Percy, it's so good to see you. I have everyone's coal here, but I derailed, and the diesels don't want to help me. That's because they're trying to take over our jobs. I'll help you, though. And Percy got Edward back on the track, so the coal could be delivered. Sorry we doubted you, Edward. No problem. Sorry it took so long. And we owe you an apology too, Percy. That's all right, so long as everyone has coal now. Come on everyone, let's get our jobs back. So everyone could finally leave their shed and they all got their jobs back from the diesels. Ah, we'll get rid of those steamies someday. Someday. There was a lot of mail that needed delivering, so Paxton offered to help out Percy. OK Paxton, listen carefully. When you get there, It feels good helping out Percy. He'd do the same for me. I've never delivered the mail before. Uh oh, I haven't been listening to Percy. 
together. Uh, we just smile and agree really quickly. Him. Can't we? Oh yes, exactly, Percy. Were you really listening to me? Uh, no. Sorry, I lost concentration a bit. <laughs> oh, Paxton, wait here while I get the mail trucks. Okay, Percy, I'll just wait here. Do 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 do. Ooh, a butterfly. Come here, little butterfly. Where are you going? Okay, Splatter and Dodge, how can we get Sir Topham Hat to realise that us diesels are far better engines than those steamies? We could do our jobs properly. No, no, we need to be more devious than that. Come here, Butterfly. Oh, oh hello, you three. Ah, Paxton, we're coming up with a plan to get rid of the steamies once and for all. Oh no, I don't want any part in that. I'm helping Percy deliver the mail today. Really? Well, why don't you deliver all of the mail to the wrong people, and then tell Sir Topham Hat that Percy told you to do it? That'll get him out the way. No, I couldn't do that. But you're a diesel. You want the diesels to be more important, don't you? Well, I suppose... Then do as I say. Oh, yes, Diesel 10. And he returned to Percy. There you are, Paxton. I have your mail truck here. Thanks, Percy. Let's deliver this mail. But Paxton wasn't going to deliver it to the right people. Ah, oh, the mail's here. This must be the candy ingredients I ordered. OK, here you go, candy. Here are your bats. Bats! Oh! Paxton wasn't proud of himself, but he was sticking to Diesel 10's plan. Ah, the mail! This must be the bats I ordered. Here you go, Vampire Fundling. Your important documents. What? I don't need important documents. OK, bye! Wait, wait! Oh. Come on, I need those important documents. Ah, the mail's here. OK, Detective Fundling, here's your candy ingredients. What? Candy ingredients? You must have delivered this to the wrong Fundling. Bye! No, no, wait! Ah. OK, Percy, I'm done. Thanks for the help today, Paxton. Don't thank me yet. Percy and Paxton! Why has half of the mail been delivered to the wrong address? Sorry sir, I was just doing what Percy told me to do. What? I didn't tell you to. Percy, I'm very disappointed in you. You mustn't have told Paxton how to do the job properly. Sorry sir, I couldn't help but over here. It sounds like Percy was trying to make us diesels look bad. No, of course not. Please allow Paxton and I to prove that we're better than this by letting us deliver the mail tomorrow. Excellent idea, Diesel 10. Percy, you'll have to do a different and less important job tomorrow. Oh, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> well done, Paxton. Soon enough, us Diesels will take over Sodor. <laughs> Paxton felt awful for getting Percy in trouble, so the next day before delivering the mail, he tried to explain himself. Hi Percy. What do you want, Paxton? I'm sorry about yesterday, Diesel 10 made me do it, but I think I know how we can get him back. And Paxton explained his plan. OK Diesel 10 and Paxton, I hope you do a better job of delivering the mail today. Yes, sir. You can count on our steezles. Excellent. Come on, Paxton. Let's deliver this mail. But Paxton didn't deliver his mail. OK, I've delivered my mail. Have you delivered yours? No, I haven't. What? I told you to not deliver it yesterday to get Percy in trouble. Not today. Diesel 10. I heard that! Oh, Sir Topham Hat, but uh, Paxton didn't deliver his mail today. Actually, my mail was delivered today. I delivered the mail! Ah, well done, Percy. Diesel 10, you're in a lot of trouble. But I... But nothing! Come with me, I need to decide your punishment. 
Oh. Thanks for explaining everything to Sir Topham Hat. No problem, Percy. Sorry I got you in trouble in the first place. Don't worry about it, but I think I'll deliver the mail myself from now on. Thomas does a lot of important jobs on Sodor. He pulls Annie and Clarabelle. Make sure you don't go too fast, Thomas. But don't go too slow, and we're going to Farquhar today, not Wellsworth. Do you understand? Yes, Annie and Clarabelle, I understand. He takes passengers wherever they want to go. Mm, where am I meant to go today? Ah, it's Thomas. Hi, Funling. Can I take you somewhere? Yes, please. Although, I can't remember where I needed to go. The beach? Candy's candy shop? McDonald's? McDonald's, that's it. I've got to go to work. Well, hop in then and I'll take you. Thanks, Thomas. And sometimes Thomas is on truck duty. Ooh. Thomas is smelly, smells like rotten jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, trucks. I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> Usually when he needs his trucks filled with cargo, he needs to help out the funding a little bit. Hi, Thomas. Hi, funding. Please could you fill my trucks with coal? Of course. Um, oh. Uh, I can't remember which one of these piles the coal is. It's the pile on the right, the black little rocks. Oh yeah. And in no time, he can continue his journey delivering the coal. Thomas, I dropped my coal. No, you haven't. No, oh, how do you know? Thomas was very good at his jobs, but one day there was a problem. Thomas wasn't feeling very well, so he needed another engine to do his jobs for him. Thomas, you need some rest. I've asked another train to do your jobs today. Thank you, sir. Who have you asked? Ah, here he comes now. Poor, poor Thomas. Diesel, he can't do my jobs. Of course he can. Hopefully he can do them to the same standard as you. Actually, I'm going to do your jobs better than you, so Sir Topham Hat will realise just how much better Diesels are than Steamies. I don't think your plan will work. Oh yeah? Just watch me. First of all, Diesel picked up Annie and Clarabelle. You're not Thomas. Well done. How did you work that out? Oh, how rude. Thomas isn't feeling very well, so I'm his replacement. Oh, well, make sure you don't go too fast, but don't go too slow. And we're going to the beach today. All right, all right, I know how to pull coaches. He's very rude. Thomas is never this rude. Well, I'm not Thomas. Oh, where's Thomas? I can't remember where I need to go again. Ah, here he isn't. Where's Thomas? He's not feeling well, so I'm here. Where can I take you? Um, oh, I can't remember. Ah, well, do you need to go to the beach? The diesel works? Which funding's cottage? Uh, no. Well, I don't have time for this. I give up. Goodbye. No, no, no! Wait, wait! Oh! Diesel then moved on to truck duty. Diesel's a weasel, he runs on treacle. <laughs> Be quiet, trucks! Be quiet, trucks! <laughs> ah, how does Thomas put up with this? <laughs> Come on, Funling, fill the trucks up with coal quickly now. Yes, Diesel. Um, oh, which one is the coal again? Hurry up, I don't have all day. Oh. Quiet, trucks. Oh, uh, I think coal is... 
Wait, so it must be this pile. And the funneling filled the trucks up with rocks, not coal. Finished! Finally! Diesel, I dropped my coal. What? How did you do that? Only joking! <laughs> oh! Hey, why is your coal white? Because the funneling filled us up with rocks, not coal. What? Oh, that's it. I've had enough. Diesel! Hey, you can't just leave us. I never want to do your jobs ever again, Thomas. It's infuriating. Thomas may not have been feeling great, but hearing Diesel say that made him feel much better. Thomas was happily pulling Annie and Clarabelle. When... Whoa! Move it, Steamy! <laughs> oh, that was rude. Um, Thomas, why did you stop so suddenly? Sorry, Diesel 10 cut in front of me. Well, don't stop like that again. It was very uncomfortable. Oh, Diesels are so rude. Nearby, Steamy's a boring, your passengers are snoring. <laughs> oh, how rude. Also nearby, Hmm, what do I do with this truck? Eh, I'll just leave it here. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, watch it, Percy. Why were you left there? I don't know, Diesel didn't need me. Diesel? Oh, diesel engines are so inconsiderate. And that evening, the three engines complained about the diesel some more. Diesel 10 cut in front of me. Splatter and Dodge teased me. And Diesel left a truck in the middle of the track. What are we going to do about them? Hello, you lazy steamies. Diesel's roll. <laughs> you got that right. Uh, yeah, good one, boss. <laughs> Oh, OK, that's it. We need to prank them. But how? When they prank us, they usually take our coal away so we can't move. That's it. We'll do the same thing to them. We'll take their fuel away. <laughs> so early the next morning, Thomas, Near and Percy hid all of the fuel and diesel works trucks. <laughs> OK, I've hidden all of their fuel trucks. They won't be able to move. This will be the best day ever. Yeah, let's get to work. So the engine started their jobs. Oh. Hello, Diesel 10. Still in your shed? Yes, because someone has hidden all of my fuel. Oh dear, looks like you can't tease the steam engines today then. <laughs> Wait, what? It was you, Thomas, wasn't it? Come back here! Oh no, Splatter, I can't move. I can't either, Dodge. Oh, here comes Nia. Maybe she can bring us some fuel. Nia! Nia, help us! Nia? Oh. oh, I can't move. Oh, Percy, Percy, help! Ugh, he ignored me. With no diesels in the way, the steam engines had the best day ever. Until... Oh, come on, Dennis. You're supposed to be bringing my truck. <laughs> Phew, trucks are so heavy. Even though this one was just filled with balloons. Funny. Why did you bring the truck? What happened to Dennis? Oh, didn't you hear? All of the diesel fuel has disappeared. No diesels can work today. And that includes Dennis. Oh no. Meanwhile, Percy was having a great day. Until... Hey Percy, what happened to my cake ingredients? Isn't Daisy delivering them to you? 
She can't. All of the diesel engines are out of action today. All of them? Oh dear. And at the beach? Salty, there you are. Why haven't you got my trucks ready? I can't move. All the diesel fuel is missing. Oh no, what have we done? Um, I'll be back soon, Salty. We've, We've made, made a, a mistake. mistake. We only wanted to stop Diesel, Diesel 10, Splatter and Dodge from teasing us. But we caused every Diesel to stop working. Including our friends. Come on, let's bring back the fuel. So Thomas, Near and Percy recovered all of the Diesel fuel trucks and gave them to every Diesel engine on Sodor. Including Diesel, Splatter and Dodge and Diesel 10. Thanks, Nia. Yeah, thanks. Then the engines met up afterwards. Well, our prank worked, but I think it worked too well. Yes, we didn't mean to stop our friends from working as well. No, but we did teach Diesel 10, Diesel, Splatter and Dodge a lesson, and we had a fantastic day working too. So, it was a good day in the end.